And welcome back to Cox Sports Report as we head back out to Roanoke as the William Byrd Terriers taking on the William Fleming Colonels and William Byrd in a battle of the Williams mat. William Byrd looking to get their first win of the year. Not going to be easy, Chris, against this William Fleming attack. As you see, the running game with Jerome Hill, he has really revved it up here the last couple of games for the Colonels undefeated on the year. And you see Byrd with the passing attack getting something done with Byron Owen from Will Colcierto. And Colcierto looking deep in the end zone. And the pass is going to be knocked away and picked off. A nice play by J.J. Hill as he's a an offensive juggernaut and a defensive specialist as he comes up with a pick there. Only 5'5", five 150 pounds, but hey, he can play the game of football. And you see right here, ripping away from tackles, it is Malik Trainum on the pass from Tyrell Adams. The passing attack starting to get going a little bit for Fleming too. Yeah, but that running game is strong as they look to Hill again to get outside, inside the 10, down the sideline, diving for the pylon, and he's got a touchdown as the first score of the game. For William Fleming. And kudos to junior guard Isaiah Yeats for helping him spring free for that play there. And you see there Nijay Wade there with the reception there on the pass from, of course, Tyrell Adams and William Fleming out to the nice start that they wanted to get off to. Coach uh, Bobby Martin and company, the former basketball coach at GW Danville, now coaching football at rival William Fleming. And coming back, William Burr trying to make something happen on the ensuing kick, ensuing kickoff. Gets to the 30, down to the 35 yard line. And unfortunately, they're not going to be able to get much yardage here as rolling to his right. Coach Yarda looking downfield and the pass will be picked off as again the defense coming up big for William Fleming as that's J. Ron Lovelace coming up with the pick. Excellent coverage. You see Lovelace and Hill right there. Johnny on the spot on these passes and now another quick screen attack there with the Fleming offense as Trainum rips away from two tacklers and a third inside the 15 yard line. Just tremendous effort there. And Hill will do the work himself diving into the end zone for the touchdown. And a bad snap here is going to lead to a two-point conversion try that's going to be knocked away. So a bit of life for William Byrd as they come away with the stop. But they're going to have to make something happen on offense if they want to get back in this game. They are. They put up 24 points a week ago in a loss to Magna Vista, but just not having nearly the amount of success that they've had prior to that. And they take the kickoff with Jake Umberger there near midfield, but they would be three and out. And here comes that Fleming offense again. Another quick screen to train. Yeah, it seems like we've seen this play multiple times as Trandum again picks up good yardage against the Terriers and now the Colonel is looking downfield and the pass is going to be hauled in as that's Wade coming up with the reception and it looks like he lost the football and it's going back to the Terriers. He did a fumble and that will set up Larry Basham right up the middle. 12 yard touchdown run extra point will be good for Coleman and now Bird is back in it and another fumble for Fleming this time. Hill picks it up but loses it twice. Yeah, for an undefeated team, a very sloppy performance. They had three fumbles lost in the second half and committed 13 penalties in all in this game. But fortunately for Fleming, Tyrell Adams making things happen by staying in the pocket with his feet there, finding Warren Craft, the two sports stand out for the Colonels, also a big time recruit in basketball for Fleming. And it's nice to have Jerome Hill to make up for any mistakes you make. A 67 yard touchdown run late in the third quarter, pretty much puts this one away for William Fleming as the William Byrd offense trying to make something happen down the field. The pass is going to be caught. A nice reception by Therese Dickerson, but they're going to come up on the short end of this one, losing 20 to seven as Basham, 23 carries, 115 yards, and a losing effort for William Byrd. William Fleming led by Jerome Hill, 32 carries, 252 yards, and two touchdowns rushing. Let's now take a look at some other scores around the state of Virginia. Chris, in the Roanoke and Virginia area, it was Liberty defeating Rustburg 23-13. The Minutemen moving to 4-1 behind Matt Smith's 179 yards rushing and two touchdowns. And more scores. Giles over Graham 55-25 as Brian Mann 197 yards and three touchdowns on the ground as Brett Whitlow two touchdowns rushing as well. Giles certainly a factor. So is Magna Vista 58-17 all over Tunstall and a Piedmont District tilt. Jaquez Hairston, 308 yards rushing and six touchdowns. Yes, six TDs for Magna Vista. And one more score, C.D. Hilton all over Patriots, 66 to 41. You know how they did it, Matt? Ricky Slade's eight touchdowns total, a school record as a freshman. 23 carries, 175 yards, five touchdowns on the ground, two touchdowns in the air, and oh yeah, a 91-yard kick return for a touchdown. Remarkable performance. I think he'll be a big-time recruit in a few years from the class of 2018. Just incredible for Ricky Slade right there. McLean in a five-point squeaker over South Lakes, 36-31. C.J. Downey 
Four touchdowns passing Jordan Cole, four touchdowns total as he included an interception return on defense. And Eric Carlew, seven catches, two, two touchdowns as well through the air. Almost 200 yards, a very good effort in a loss. And Chantilly, a winner over Langley, 20 to seven. The Chargers victorious behind Kush Eastman and David Kearns' 127 yards rushing and a touchdown. Stonebridge over Madison, 28-17. As Joe Thompson, almost perfect, 20 of 23, 117 yards passing and a touchdown on the ground. Jason Gastrock had two touchdowns passing for Madison in a losing cause. 